Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Saeed Ali Mardan Azmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will discuss exercise 15.2, question number 23 from Thomas Calico's 12th edition book. The statement of problem is sketch the region of integration and evaluate the integral. The limits of x are 0 to y square. The limits of y are 0 to 1. And we have to integrate 3y cubed e raised to power xy, where e is the exponential function for these limits of variables. Before start solving this question, we must know the formula for exponential function. In order to integrate exponential function, the power of derivative should be available as a multiplier. Means, if we have to integrate e raised to power u of x, where u is some function of x, we must have derivative of u with respect to x as a multiplier with exponential function. Then integration of this whole function will be e raised to power ux plus c is the constant of integration. Here's an example. If you have to integrate e raised to power 2x with respect to x, then first of all, we will create derivative of power by multiplying by 2 and then balancing it by dividing with 2. Then the integration of this whole function e raised to power 2x multiplied by 2 is e raised to power 2x and 1 by 2 is from the outside of the integral. So this is the procedure which you will use for the integration of exponential function. Why I am discussing here? Because we need this concept in this particular question. In double integral, we will always solve the inner integral first, and then we will ev evaluate the outer integral on the basis of results of inner integral. So for this purpose, I have isolated the inner integral with the help of brackets and changed its color with red so that you are focused on this particular portion first. So first of all, we will integrate 3y cube e raised to power x, y, dx for the limit 0 to y square. Note that with respect to x, y is constant and the derivative of power of e raised to power and the derivative of the power of exponential function is y with respect to x. I mean, if you take the derivative, if you take the partial derivative of x, y with respect to x, you will get y. So in order to create derivative of power of exponential function, we split y cube as 3y square, and then we take one y here. With respect to x, y is constant, so we have taken 3y square outside of the inner integral, and we use one y here as a derivative of the power of exponential function. Now, the integration of e raised to power x y multiplied by y with respect to x will be e raised to power x y. And in the next step, we will apply the limits 0 to y square for this particular function. So we have applied fundamental theorem of calculus. We have applied upper limit and we have replaced x with y square for upper limit minus 0. We have replaced 0 with x for the lower limit. So we have 3y square e raised to power y cube minus 1 e raised to power 0 is 1. In the next step, we will open up the brackets and then we will separate the integral on each term. Now you see that when we separated the integral, in the first part we have e raised to power y cube 3y square dy minus limit from 0 to 1 3y square dy. For the first integral, now you can see the derivative of power of exponential function with respect to y is 3y square, which is available as a multiplier. So integration of this whole function will be e raised to power y cube in the first integral. And in the second integral, uh, we will apply power formula to integrate y square as y cube over 3. So after integrating, we have e raised to power y cube limit from 0 to 1. 3y cube over 3 limit from 0 to 1. This 3 and 3 will be cancelled out. And we have applied the limits, upper limit minus lower limit. From these brackets, e raised to power 1 is 1, e raised to power 0 is 1, and 1 come from here from the second bracket. So as a result, we have e minus 2. This completes the integration part. In the second part of the question, we have to sketch the region of integration. In order to sketch the region of integration, we need some boundaries. And these boundaries 
are obtained by the limiting values of the variable. So the value of y outer variable is 0 and value of y is 1. So we will equate outer variable y as y equal to 0 and y equal to 1. Similarly, for inner variable x, we have x equal to 0 and x is equal to y square. Please note that y equal to 0 is an equation of x-axis. y equal to 1 is an equation of horizontal line. x equal to 0 is an equation of y-axis. x equal to y square is equation of parabola, symmetric about x-axis and open rightward. So first of all, I have plotted the three straight lines. y equal to 0, y equal to 1, y equal to 0, y equal to 1, and then x equal to 0. And the next part, I have plotted the parabola. Here, again, you can see I have associated each equation along its boundary. So x equal to 0 is the equation of y-axis, y equal to 0 equation of x-axis, y equal to 1 is the equation of horizontal line, and x equal to y square is a parabola. So what will be the common region? for this integration, this particular portion, which I have make it yellow. So here we have concluded the second part of the question in which we have to sketch the region of integration. Thank you so much for watching.